Well, hello, everybody. Uh, today, looking at something a little different than normal. This is Frozen in Time. Ten prehistoric animals found trapped in ice. Now, the cool thing about when an animal is trapped in ice like this, um, it literally means that they are, they're basically mummified. Like, these animals are as close to what they were in the past as they that we can see like if a dinosaur was trapped like this it would blow us away like these guys are close enough to things that we have around today that like we kind of have an idea but it's still really cool and then some of them like the i believe they some people ate like a bit of woolly mammoth meat that wouldn't recommend it but apparently that's how well it was preserved with all that being said Make sure to like this video before we go any farther. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's get right into it. Long extinct animals in superbly preserved time capsules are being unearthed in permafrost from across the planet. From Canada's Yukon Territory to Antarctica. Antarctica, really? I didn't know that. Enabling scientists to glimpse into the past. These frozen prehistoric animals are often found in stunning condition and are now famous around the world. Number one, the woolly rhino baby. Uh, this 10,000-year-old woolly rhino, nicknamed Sasha by the man who found it, was the first young member of its species ever discovered. Researchers aren't sure if it's male or female, but the horn size suggests it may have been weaned by the time it died. It roamed the Mammoth Steppe, a dry, cold region from modern-day Spain to Siberia. I believe these guys are the ones with, like, the 10-foot-long horns. That's crazy. Is this going to anything? Does it just talk about it some more? That's pretty cool. Uh, the remains of only a few adult woolly rhinos... No, ugh. Since 18th century, the remains of only a few adult woolly rhinos have been discovered. Two bodies without hair were found in what is now Ukraine, and a headless frozen mummy was found in eastern Siberia. That's pretty cool. I believe this is one of the ones they want to take back to, or, you know, bring back from extinction. Oh, I've never seen this one. A cave lion. Scientists unearthed this squashed, mummified cat in eastern Siberia in 2017. The specimen is a female cave lion cub, which scientists named Sparta. Uh, this prehistoric animal likely died suddenly, possibly during a mudslide. Uh, Sparta is one of the best preserved Ice Age animals ever found. Even her whiskers can still be seen. That is crazy cool. And I think they have one that goes into each one. So 30,000 years ago that this was, this guy died. Jesus. Look at that. Oh, man. It, li it just looks like a freeze-dried version of... A regular lion cup. This old spur. That is really cool. Okay. Let's see what the next one is. Mammoth cabs. Of course. In 2007, explorers unearthed two mammoth cabs, which were nicknamed Liuba and Roma, dating back about 40,000 years ago in two different areas of Siberia. Researchers took a closer look at the animals using CT scans and discovered that the uh, both baby mammoths had choked on mud after falling into the water. The little mammoths appeared otherwise plump and healthy when they died. Um, Romayevin had a stomach full of undigested breast milk that looked like yogurt. So it was still... Or if they ate it. Wouldn't surprise me if they did. Let's see. That's... The team got permission to perform computer tomography scans, as well as limited dissection of the body. Luba's Luba, which means love in Russian, was plump and healthy at death. The scans also revealed that just before death, Luba had inhaled bits of mud typically found in lake bottoms. She also had signs of a response called mammalian dive reflex, reflected in high levels of mineralized form of iron phosphate in her face and brain tissues. When facial skin and muscles are exposed to cold air, particularly in babies, the uh, body prepares for oxygen loss by shunning more blood circulation from the heart to the brain. Uh, this reflex, uh, reflex allows the brain to survive 
longer without oxygen when the body is submerged underwater. The iron phosphate formed over the months and years after her death when phosphate leached from her bones and mixed with the iron in her blood. The analysis paints a terrifying picture of Lou of his last moments. The baby mammoth was likely crossing a frozen lake when her mother, when she crashed through the ice and did a face plant into the muddy lake bottom, Fisher said. Um, she then got stuck in her uh, mud stuck in her airways and tried to blow it out of her trunk because the nasal passage is narrow in the trunk. She only managed to get the mud stuck even more. Uh, it moved straight into her trachea and bronchi, and by the time she was too exhausted and couldn't clear her airways, Fisher told Live Science, um, it was just a matter of minutes before she would have lost consciousness. That's crazy. Oh, that's sad. I didn't know that that's how it died. Boom. Ancient bison. Dude looks happy. Some of the most complete step bison remains ever found are 9,000 years old. Uh, the preserved animal unearthed in northern Siberia in 2011 has a complete heart, brain, and digest digest bleh, digestive system. Some of its organs have shrunk over time, but its blood vessels are in near perfect condition. This is not the only step bison with uh, which went extinct about 10,000 years ago that's been found frozen in time. I did. Okay, take just take a second and think about what is being said here. This is not the only step bison which went extinct around ten thousand years ago, but the most complete one was from not was nine thousand years old, and in twenty twenty two, researchers in Russia completed a necropsy of an eight thousand year old step bison that is so well preserved that scientists believe it could have been cloned using intact chromosomes extracted from the bison's skin, muscle, and wool. So. I understand saying around 10,000 years is like you got to go way earlier than that because if this one is from if there's one from 8,000 years old that's a 2,000 year difference that's not a minuscule difference I know in time periods like it is but like when we're talking thousands of years 2,000 years is a big deal I'm picking it apart I know it just live science loves to do this frozen foul full not foul like that. There's an A, not a W. A two-month-old horse that died between 30,000 and 40,000 years ago discovered around 330 feet below the surface in a Siberian crater in 2018. In life, the young horse stood about three feet tall, and its remains were kept in pristine by uh, kept so pristine by ice that its hooves, skin, and tail are still intact, along with tiny hairs that are still visible in the fowl's nostrils. False nostrils. That's pretty cool. It looks like a greyhound. Or like the the dog with the long nose. Like, what are we doing for you? That one. That's what that looks like. Doesn't it not? Prehistoric bear. Look at them teeth. In 2022, reindeer herders discovered the remains of a mummified bear in the Siberian permafrost. Initially, researchers believed the remains belonged to a cave bear, which went extinct about 22,000 years ago. Further analysis in 2022 re revealed that the mummy animal is actually a 3,460-year-old remains of a female brown bear, which is likely two to three years old when she died. Oh, so it's not as cool because it's not, you know, it's, I mean, this guy was around when people were around. It's still pretty cool that it lasted that long, but it ain't a cave bear. Mummified mammoth, that one looks pretty rough. 2022, gold miners excavated a 30,000-year-old baby woolly mammoth from Canadian permafrost. The 4.5-foot-long remains uh, belong to a female cave or a female calf and are so well preserved, uh, the prehistoric animal hair and skin are still intact. Doesn't really look much like it. The mammoth named Nuchoga is believed to be the most complete mummified mammoth found in North America. Doesn't look as good as the last one. <laughs> prehistoric penguin colony in 2016 in Cape Erizar a rock headland in Antarctica scientists unearthed all the telltale signs of a freshly abandoned Adelaide penguin colony including dead penguins bones and guano stained pebbles but researchers were puzzled because Adelaide's uh, hadn't been seen in the area for hundreds of years turns out that a period of melting on the frozen continent revealed the mummified remains 
along with bones and eggshells, and are thought to be 800 to 5,000 years old. That's a big time jump. That's pretty cool, though. These are just, like, really, 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 really old remains. That I mean, that's all these are, but just got frozen. I wonder how many of these there are like this. Hibernating squirrel. First glance, this ball of fur and claws might not seem like much. However, X-ray scans revealed that it uh, revealed it to be a mummified squirrel that had curled up for hibernation thirty thousand years ago. The well-preserved ancient animal uh, is an Arctic ground squirrel, and the species is, still exists today and lives in the area where the mummified specimen was found in Canada's Yukon Territory. Pretty cool. What do you find stuff that's still alive today? And just you know, it's been there for. God knows it went 30,000 years ago. That's, that's awesome. Preserved wolf pup. Uh, in 2016, Canadian gold miners discovered a female wolf pup specimen that has been preserved in permafrost for 57,000 years. X-ray analysis revealed that the gray wolf pup, now named Zur, was only seven weeks old when she died. Researchers, researchers hypothesized that her den may have collapsed, killing the pup and helping keep the body preserved. Very interesting. It's a pretty cool article. I didn't know there were so many. A lot of these I hadn't heard about. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this down below. And uh, did you know about some of these? Or did you, or oh, how many of these have you found out about for the first time watching this video? I would like to know. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Keep it wild. <laughs>